on my way to class as usual, one of my colleagues told me that I'm going to find a new student there. She said that a girl came to Lebanon with her family after the destruction of their house and the death of her father. I thought I was used to new girls joining my class during the year, but I was wrong. The girl was occupying a seat in the corner of the classroom. Though completely quiet, her face showed clear signs of frustration, disappointment, and deep sadness. She didn't even bother to raise her head and ask who's the new teacher entering the classroom. I thought first that, what's wrong with her? And when I asked for her name, she whispered, Dahlia. For the first few weeks following her arrival, Dahlia didn't display any interest in even playing with her classmates. I don't blame her, because one of the most painful feelings someone can experience is uprootedness, being forced to leave your house, your friends, and sometimes your entire family and start again on completely new grounds. I know this feeling because I am a refugee. I've been dislocated from my homeland. But I've learned that it is possible to start again in this new ground when you have the chance and necessary care. So I wanted to inspire this hope of a new beginning in my students, and volunteerism granted me this chance. Because being a volunteer provides a sense of belonging, which creates an atmosphere of stability and solidarity. And a stable ground is what my students needed to start again. They needed a safe, psychologically healthy environment, something I endeavored to provide. So I, not, I became not only a teacher, but also a mother and a friend, while these students became my second family. As a result, these girls were able to rediscover themselves, break the barrier of fear, and display palpable academic progress. They were all happy to learn and willing to try again if they fail. It was also my chance to explore my potentials, test my limits while meeting new peoples, new perceptions, new mentalities. I discovered that I needed positive thinking to motivate these girls and make them believe that there's always a way. Therefore, I realized that I'm no longer the center of the world. On the contrary, I'm part of a much bigger world in which I can feel the gratification of giving, giving the support, giving the security, giving the hope to these girls, empowering them to flourish once more. Today, many of my students have left Lebanon, including this girl, Dahlia. I do really miss them but I know that they're seeking a new life in a new place. I know that they're building, up to, they're building up their own future, and I know that they have what it needs, resilience and faith. Today, I stand before you proud to declare that I have inspired this change in the lives of my pupils and that I am somewhere behind that charming smile, glowing once again hopeful faces.